Hi, this is Patrick O'Rourke. We've been getting some questions and I've been asked about uh, dental insurance point of service plans or the acronym POS. Um, point of service plans sort of look like a PPO. They're hybrid between a PPO and HMO. Interestingly enough, in the medical world, these are uh, very popular, particularly in metropolitan areas, but it's really, it's a, it looks like a PPO and then it's put on an HMO chassis, where in the dental insurance world, it looks like more often than not, they're trying to make a, an HMO and cram it onto a, a PPO chassis, albeit a, a very low reimbursing PPO in most cases, right? Um, so the POS or the point of service plan in dental insurance looks like a PPO, that the out-of-network benefits are going to be skewed um, heavily. or So it's going to incentivize or steer you in network. And then if it says something like, when you go out of network, the out-of-network allowable is going to be whatever we want it to be, right? Um, then you're going to get dinged again. So it's not just that the percentages are less, but also whatever they decide the allowable rate is, for that plan, which probably will not be disclosed to you um, until it's the transaction or the insurance transaction is complete, is very likely to be even less, which is going to hurt the provider and cause a big balance bill for you, the patient. Um, I like analogies. So let me use another analogy. So there's POS means something in the automobile world too, okay? And it is not altogether uncommon for companies to give a company car as a perk, right? As a way to attract and retain talent, much like dental insurance is a benefit for the employees, for them to come in and you say, look, we got great dental insurance. And so here's our point of service. If I'm using an analogy for the lay person out there that's listening to this for whatever reason, it would be like the company, you know, your new boss is welcome to the team. We're going to give you that company car. And then he walks you out there to the, the, you know, car lot outside in the parking lot. And it's a Yugo. That's a POS in the automobile world. Hope that's helpful. Until next time.